After building my original hydrophones and realizing how great they sounded, I've been in search of whales, specifically humpback whales. Male humpbacks sing for anywhere from four to 20 minutes. It is a complex tune and I wanted to record it in stereo at a minimum and immersive at best. Let's check it out on this episode of Sound Sleuth, Baby Got Humpback. My cohort in crime, Tom Benedict, and a few other friends arranged a boat trip this January to find them. Our crew was led by Sue Lang Watson, a humpback whale marine naturalist who knew exactly where we should look. Flying into Kona the night before, I got up early and tossed in a pair of my new build hydrophones next to the pier at my hotel. For the uninitiated, the ocean is actually loud, especially near shore and with biologics. You can clearly hear shrimp popping in a small motorboat going by. I'm not sure, but I think I can hear whale song in the midst of the sonic circus. Onward to the boat. We'll be off the big island in Hawaii, and we'll have a resident whale expert with us. On the way out, I learned that male whales sing about 100 feet down vertically with their head down and tail up. They can sing alone or in a group. We made a stop on the way out to do a quick test of the hydrophones. Not only did they work great, you could immediately hear the whales. This build used a different piezo vendor than my original, and I was eager to test them out and to compare. Our goal here was to have a four element array about 50 feet down, spaced about two meters apart, and then four more hydrophones 100 feet down just on the edges of the boat. Although I tested everything as I built them, we had two that were noisy and unusable. More on this at the end as I sorted out a potential design issue with my circuitry. We ended up with a pair of hydrophones at 50 feet and three at 100 feet. Tom and I put a couple action cameras on the 50 foot rig and lowered it over. We wanted the 50 foot deep array to be horizontal, but we didn't plan that out enough and one end was heavier, so it ended up vertical. On the plus side, one camera pointed up with the other one pointing down so you can see the rig submerging. Once again, as soon as they hit the water, you immediately heard the whales. Wow. Our whale expert smiled big time as she listened over the headphones. Towards the end of a song, they emit a sound called the creaking door. They do that before they come up for air. After hearing it, we remained on the lookout for spouts. Based on these, we estimate that one of the whales was about a thousand feet away. After recording for about 90 minutes, we pulled the hydrophones in and jumped over the side. You could hear the whales just with your head underwater, and the action cameras picked it up as well.
This adventure was amazing, truly amazing. We're planning to return with a full immersive hydrophone array next whale season. See the YouTube info section for some downloadable 24-bit wave files of the whales. I also sorted out a design issue with my circuitry and there will be an update shortly. Turns out piezo elements can put out a lot of voltage, especially when tapped. My circuitry needs some input protection. Keep listening. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And one final thing, if you're gonna go all the way to Hawaii, you might as well go to the top of the mountain and watch the sunset.